Hello, David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Welcome back for part two of the Olibar Brown Heritage Collection. Did you see part one? If you haven't, maybe go back and check out part one. But you know how we do things here by now is let's give you kind of my stats right off the bat because many of you are here in this video to really determine all right, I can get a few pieces from this Olibar Brown new Bond Heritage line, but which ones and what size? So just so you know, every item that you're going to see in today's video is a size medium. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because you can check out sizing. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So I am from a stat standpoint, a 40 inch chest, 40 chest up here, 31 inch waist still, even, even during COVID-19. So that'll give you an idea and we'll talk about other fits and fashion, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you like Sean Connery and you like Roger Moore, you're going to love part two. And we're standing in one of my favorite movies, the surroundings of it. You can tell this is Thunderball. We're starting off with Thunderball. Now, this is how we're going to run things today. I'm going to start out wearing the outfit sort of as it's seen in the film. Now, if you remember this shirt, this outfit, the blue pants, and yes, yes, folks, hold on, hold on. Sandals too. Wow, my yoga's paying off. This is the scene where Bond has his Q moment. It's fantastic. It's probably one of the best Q branch scenes, but Bond is getting outfitted and kitted with a, a lot of different aspects and Q with his amazing clothes. But Bond is wearing this really blue outfit with a straw hat, not unlike this, a little different band. And of course he gets this. That's why the scene is so familiar and famous because he gets his rebreather. Mmm, delicious. Not going to do it. But he also gets something, one of my favorite, most nonsensical props since the, uh, well, the lint, and that is the pill, right? The Thunderball tracking pill that he gets. So it's a fun moment. Everybody loves Q Branch, and that's why this shirt, to me, is so classic. It's a standout shirt, and we haven't really seen anything like that. Hold on. Let's see if I can get on the hat hook, and you don't know if I did or didn't. Let's just say I did. So let's talk about the Olibar Brown shirt. I'm going to get up close. This is 100% linen. And what I like about it right off the start, I'll kind of pull back here, is you can see the fit from the side is very flattering. Now, Olibar Brown, you know the brand, they are fitted. They're, they're more fitted than maybe some of the other brands that you are used to. However, there's something with this heritage line that I like what they did. Typically with these type of shirts, my bicep would be really cinched really hard, but look at the amount of room I have. That harkens back to the Thunderball look. If you look at Sean Connery, you know, his biceps aren't cinched in there. You know, they're not, it's not a binding around the bicep. With some of the polos, I, I actually like that, right? Hashtag Bond 25 Fitness Challenge. But with these, this is the heritage line. You should have a little bit more room. And I like the amount of room in the body. It's not too much, but I do have a little bit of give. It certainly doesn't look like it's painted on. Some of you may agree, may disagree. Let's take a look at the back for a second. Back fits really well, and I feel an incredible amount of great movement. But I got a however moment here. This is a lot of blue. This is like Harry Salzman, lot of one color. And that was a sign of the times, but I've got to give you my interpretation of what I would wear with this in this realm. Okay, I stepped all the way back here for a reason. I wanted to show you I kept on the same sandals, but now I'm just wearing a very light, almost breezy pair of light beige. You could use stone, you could use white even, chinos. They're very simple, but you can see how it breaks the color up a little bit. This is more what I would wear to a, a party or just hanging out on my deck. You could take a look at now the color line. I love where the shirt 
falls. You've got this little notch down here that's really subtle with the Olibar Brown branding. And one of the cool things is, is with the branding itself on the other side, very subtle, you have the 007 logo and it's hidden. It's on the back placket. So we always talk about this invisible hobby. We want to keep it invisible. People that aren't Bond fans would be hard pressed to go, oh, isn't that the Sean Connery blue linen shirt from Thunderball? I don't think they would off the cuff. So what do I think of this shirt? This is one of my favorites. I don't, actually, the whole line. Um, I love the color. I'm going to get up nice and close. It looks like it has a sheen in this light, but it's actually a lot more subtle in real life. That's the linen. And what I also like about this is, is the linen is combed beautifully, which means you're not going to get a lot of lint, actually any lint or pilling. The only lint you're going to have is the radioactive lint that Q provides you on your mission. Boy, I'm pulling out just all the gadget analogies today, aren't I? But I do like this. It is light and breezy. The linen, again, there's different qualities of linen. Some get a little crunchy over time. You could tell this is a very high quality linen. And I really dig this. Again, it's got that fit that I'm enjoying, but it's super lightweight. Could I see wearing it in the spring and summer coming up and on holidays? Yes, even local holidays. Absolutely. To me, this is just one of the winners of the bunch, of course. So we're back with another one from Thunderball. Potentially, arguably, one of the most famous, if not likable scenes from the movie. And that is the scene when Bond gets together with Largo at Palmyra. He's at Palmyra. He's at Largo's place. There's a whole discussion with Domino. That's fantastic. There's a discussion with Largo. I mean, how about that scene when he goes, do you know a lot about guns? He goes, no, I know something about women. I mean, that perfect lines and Bond is wearing something that's just very, very Bahamian. Bahamian? Yeah, we'll, we'll say that works. But this is all of our Brown's interpretation of it. Now, you will notice if I pull back all the way, I'm still keeping on those cream colored chinos because that's kind of what he wears. They may be a little bit more like slacks and he's also wearing sandals again. I know those that don't have a lot of love for sandals. This is probably driving you crazy, but I wear sandals. I'm sorry. I don't wear flip flops in public. Sandals are a little bit different. These are perfect. So let's talk about this shirt. It is a size medium. I already gave you my size and I'm going to just call something out right away. Now I've been, doing my P90X3 a lot during lockdown. And so my chest is, you know, it's, it's, it's a good size right now. And I'm not saying that from an ego standpoint, I'm saying it for a reason. You're going to notice that there is pulling with this medium. Now, not all clothing items are equal. And what I mean by that is sometimes the sizing varies a little bit. So if I do this, watch this, there is certainly more forgiveness. It does deepen that V, but quite frankly, this is kind of how I would wear it anyway. Um, a little relaxed and open, but you can see right here, if you have a, a bigger chest, like a kind of a barrel chest, like I do, just be wary that you actually may go up one. All right. So I probably could have done a large to get a little bit more fabric. I've got plenty of fabric in the body. The body's not too tight. Let's take a look at the side like we do. Posture, David. Posture. Hello. This is the side of the shirt. Let's check out the back. Here is the back. Why am I doing a King Tut thing? Nobody knows. And here's the front. And I'm going to get up real nice and close because it's worth it. These, you know, these, the cloth and everything like this on here is perfect. It's like the original. It's beautifully light. It's well done. And I'm going to point something out again, just like the last shirt. Look at this. It's not binding on the bicep. It's a little bit more 1960s cut in the arm. So, you know, those of you, again, you know, who are pumping iron, this shouldn't be binding because it's supposed to have that 1960s look. But like I said, in this particular case, from a size wise, medium just feels a little bit too tight right here. Um, so just be wary of that because this is a great piece. I mean, this is, you can't really get as iconic as this one 
from this movie. It's, it's just a correlation. So I know a lot of you are probably going to be picking this one and I want you to get the right size. That's all. So I think this is going to be the most interesting discussion as far as all the pieces in the third collection. And that is because we need to harken back to the scene that this is a, an homage to. And I call it an homage for a particular reason. The scene that you all remember this shirt from specifically is when he's with Felix Leiter in the helicopter. And the helicopter is kind of hovering over the water and Bond looks into the water and sees the crashed plane. You remember that? There's a shark there. Bond takes the shirt off and he's got the bathing suits on and jumps into the water. Okay, so you've got the scene and you're like blue gingham, blue gingham, 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 thunderball gingham. Like they kind of go together like peanut butter and chocolate, right? But when people see this, they're going to go, whoa, what's with the white collar? Why is there this kind of blaring white collar on the blue gingham. And by the way, for this outfit, I'm actually wearing the Ola Brower Brown swim trunks, that swim trunks, who calls it that anymore? Swimsuit that uh, they did for one of their last lines as an homage to Thunderball. So kind of all goes together. But let me tell you something that I didn't even notice when I saw early pictures of this shirt. At first I'm like, well, that's interesting how they went all white collar on us. But there's a reason. This, and I'm going to get up super close, is terry cloth. This is terry cloth. This, the entire shirt, including the sleeves and the inside, is terry cloth. So this is the perfect thing you could see underneath here. This is the perfect shirt to wear to a pool, to the ocean. It is feeling like I just wrapped myself in a really soft towel and the terry is combed beautifully. So this is not going to be screen accurate. If you're looking for cosplay, look elsewhere, look to a, another piece. This is not any of that. This is taking that particular look, the gingham look and saying, we want to do something different with it. We love the terry cloth aspect. We're going to create something that's, you know, you could throw after you come out of the pool. It'll start to wick away all the moisture on you, but it also screams, of course it does, luxury and vacation. Let's take a look at this shirt. Again, you've got kind of the roominess that I keep going over in this heritage line, which harkens back to the 60s. Let's check out the back. Super comfortable. And I swear because this is, um, don't look at my thin legs, sorry. Uh, <laughs> because this is terry cloth, it moves really well. This, out of all the shirts, I have to be frank with you, it was the one that I had the biggest question mark with, but it's probably the one that I'm going to be grabbing a lot to go to the deck, or if we ever get to go to the beach again, we will, of course we will, is to go to the beach because it's so soft and it just screams that, that 1960s Palm Spring type, type look. The fabric on the outside is incredibly soft as well. It's, uh, it's, it's very light. You really do appreciate the Terry. As soon as I put this on and tried this on, I liked it. Okay, here's my very authentic and honest moment. I would not, if you can help it, I would not button this button. I'm going to show you why. When I button this button, I'm not crazy about how marmish this looks. I, I know other word other than that. I just, the collar line may be for some of you, but to me, it almost looks like I've got a shirt underneath that's hanging out. Just by buttoning that, I'm not a fan of that. When I do this, it's pool relaxation, it's beaches, it's margaritas, it's all those different things start to conjure up. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of fair balance with it. That's all. You only live twice, that's what they say. Yes, they say that, um, but you don't. You just have one life to live. One life. To... This is not about soap operas. This is about this shirt right here. They call it a rosebud color and it is so comfortable. Let's start with where we see it in this film. It's one of the coolest parts of You Only Live Twice. It's almost like Q Branch meets Japanese version of Q Branch, where Bond goes in. He's wearing gray pants. 
he's wearing this rosebud colored shirt. And yes, folks, he's wearing sandals. Come on, it's all about comfort. But he's checking out the different weapons, the exploding cigarette rockets. It's a very cool scene. And he even gets attacked. I mean, there's a lot that goes on in this outfit. So Olibar Brown kind of had to pay homage to it and give it its uh, nod, if you will. And here it is. Now, I'm all about authenticity, if you know nothing about me. So here's my yoga again. Look at that. The sandals are back. They're back and they're better than ever. So let's talk about this. First of all, I am wearing, as with all of this, a size medium. I love the way it fits in the body. Some would argue that, again, it's a little bit snug on here for those that are bigger chested, but this is how I wear my shirts. I wear them so they're not billowy. I don't like billowy shirts. Take a look at the sleeve. The sleeve doesn't have any of that bat wing or slouchiness. It really does conform, but it's not tight. It's not tight on the arm at all. This is 100% cotton. And I don't know if there's a type of cotton that they use. I don't know why I did rabbit ears, but there you are. But it is incredibly soft. Uh, not all cottons are equal. I think you know that. You put on some cottons, you're like, scratch, ow, itch. Uh, this is the opposite end of that spectrum. It's, it's extremely comfortable. I could see it being very cooling in uh, warmer clients. I'm pairing it, of course, with gray pants. By the way, all this is driving um, my good friend Matt Spazer crazy because I have loops, no belt. I know, crazy, and I'm wearing sandals with this. So he's probably going apoplectic watching this. Matt, sorry, but you know, kind of accurate. Anyway, this, check out the back. We always do that. Check out the darting. I hope you can catch that. Check out the darting in the back. I loved when I got this and took it out, even out of the box, I checked out that darting and I'm like, Egh. for those of you that don't know, darting kind of gives you this, this tapered look, like a human form. And it's, it's a bit of a sartorial cheat, but it does make it look better. So again, it doesn't look like your whipped cream melting in the sun. And there's the side shot. Let's get up close so you can see some of the details. So you've got the two buttons here, and I did iron this, but you know, like everything, your, your heat of your body is actually going to warm this up and get rid of some of those wrinkles. But I love the collar. There's collar stays in there. The collar stays are plastic. They're, they're kind of unassuming, but they absolutely do the trick. And from a shirt perspective, I have a couple pink shirts. I love pink shirts. I think they're great. If you have a little bit of color like I do right now, they really look amazing. This is going to be my go-to. I like it that there's no pocket to break it up. I can put a, a blue blazer over this with these gray chinos and blue blazers and gray chinos. I can't believe I said that, gray slacks. They're kind of stoic, right? They're, they're a little bit cold, a little bit corporate. Throw on a pink shirt or a rosebud, as the case may be, and you've got something different. Throw in the fact that this is a 007 Heritage Line shirt. Psh, come on. I've, very, very cool. I'm enjoying the shirt a lot. Okay. All right. We are in Roger Moore territory. One of my guilty pleasures. I think it's a guilty pleasure for a lot of people. The man with the golden gun. It's not my favorite Roger Moore. My favorite Roger Moore movie is Live and Let Die. But man, I, if you just want to have fun and, and, and get giddy and, and just watch crazy things, this is an amazing movie. And this shirt that Olivar Brown has recreated is from an amazing scene in the movie. So this is where Bond uh, is with his partner in crime. He jumps over the fence or what do you call it? A wall, I guess, for high fat. He's walking through high fats, little garden, grizzly land, if you will. And then, well, he has that wonderful pool encounter. And Olibar Brown is all about pool encounters, but this one is with none other than Chu Mi, who invites Bond, and why not? It's Roger Moore, arched eyebrow, in for a nice swim. He takes off his shirt and boom, there is that third nipple. And there's an ensuing conversation with High Fat after that with Bond impersonating Scaramanga. And that's the thing you've got to remember about this shirt. This is Sneaky Bond. We all love Sneaky Bond. So this is not just the shirt that he wears to, to go to High Fats and break in, if you will. It's not only an encounter with uh, a, a beautiful woman, 
which is all about Bond. This is also him impersonating. It's sneaky Bond. It's secret agent Bond. It's intrigue. And so that's why I'm calling this out as my favorite piece within this video. Yes, even more than the Thunderball stuff. And there's a reason, and it's not just the scene. First of all, let's talk about this shirt. It is by far one of the lightest, most comfortable cottons, thin, but airy and wonderful that you've ever felt. And I'm going on about it because Danielle, who you know and love, came by all these clothes, walked by them, and just happened to brush up, kid you not, against this one. And she was like, whoa, what is this? What's this magical material? What, what is this made of? And I told her, and she goes, that's the softest thing she's ever felt. So it is. The hand of this, and I don't know how well you could see it from here, but the hand of this is remarkably soft. The fit itself is extremely flattering. Again, I've got a little bit of room in the body, which I like. This is not pulling on the chest. This is how I wear things. I've got good, what, why, am I, why am I disco dancing? A little bit of movement. You've got that nice armhole. And, you know, again, it is a, a throwback because it, they didn't want to make it too tight on here. But look at, look at some of the detail here. You've got that wonderful Roger Moore-like detail. You've got the camp collar look. You've got the right color. By the way, I've paired it with just some beige chinos. He's got this cream colored pants. Again, it's one color. My gosh, one color bond. Let's take a look at the back. The back is great, fits really well. You can see the back and the movement. It's got a really good profile to it, like I just showed you. But there is one thing that is a standout in this, and it's a detail that I want to show you up close and personal. I had to get this angle just to show you some of these extra things that you should notice. First of all, look at the two buttons below here. This makes it even more screen accurate. Bond had, uh, Roger Moore had it buttoned in the film. I would button it too, but I liked it a little bit relaxed just for this video. But this wonderful band goes the length and has these two buttons back here where you can actually make the shirt tighter. That's pretty cool. That's a detail that I didn't want to see lost on you because, wow. So you see, based on that, those are some of the reasons why this is probably my favorite. And I dare say I'm probably going to be wearing it this weekend. Yes, this is going to get some major rotations out of my closet. It's from a movie that I really dig. Come on, who doesn't like Roger Moore? So this is going to be a go-to without a doubt. Unless you think we're finished, no, there's a couple of other pieces we need to talk about. They're for your lower GI. For those that don't speak medical speak, that is uh, bottoms, bottoms up, coming off of Golden Gun. And that is this. We've got these really cool, let me hold those up so you can see this. Pretty simple from for your eyes only. These are the day shorts. They're supposed to be inspired by um, obviously James Bond in For Your Eyes Only when he is tied up with the femme fatale and he's got those kind of white bathing suit shorts on. You can see some of the details on here. Very nice. I like where you would put the uh, belt. You would have to go for a thin belt, like I would choose a rope belt or something like that if I wore a belt at all. But you could see some of the details on there, exactly what we've come to know from Olabar Brown. Uh, in all fair balance, I haven't tried these on yet because just haven't. But what I would do is, yeah, yeah, because this is me, I would pair it with their shirt. If you remember in my last video, I talked about this V-neck t-shirt, which you could hardly even call a t-shirt, from For Your Eyes Only. So I would probably pair it together just because white and blue, you can't really go wrong. Olibar Brown decided to really make some interesting pieces for you that connect back to a particular movie. In this case, back to Thunderball. You've got those really cool, I call them bathing suit envelopes from Olibar Brown, emblazoned with 007. But on the inside, we've got these wonderful pink setters. So these are Thunderball setters. It is in a watermelon warm pink. I love the colors that they come out with. It's got the very subtle Olibar Brown 007 tag on the back. And let's take a look at this from the other side. This is very much like the blue ones that you saw with the belt, but in this case, it's pink. And Bond does wear pink colored 
shorts, bathing suits in Thunderbolt. So you're starting to get kind of the whole collection. There's one other piece that's, it's a favorite, but it really doesn't scream out, oh, I remember you from a particular part of the movie. It's another one of the Thunderball Setters homage piece. So let's take a look at it again. Wonderful envelope. And here it is. This is, I've got to read you this. So the style name is called Setter Thunderball. So it's a setter short and it has these Thunderball belted accents here, but the color is a black fossil. Black fossil. Check out the color on that. I don't know. I just, I, I, when I saw the picture of this, I'm like, that's a cool color. It's something I don't typically have. I have tons of blue bathing suits, but this is something just a little bit different enough that from a shorts perspective, it's interesting, but also from a bathing suit perspective, it starts to break things up in my collection. And that's what this is all about. It's about really kind of enjoying the pieces and doing something a little bit different. All right. Well, that's all the pieces that I have. And I'm a little sad. I have to tell you, I was, uh, I was super excited to do this review. I, I, you know, this is not my job, it's my hobby. So here it is Saturday morning and I get to try on all these things and give my opinion about them and wear them with different things and take them off and check them out and play with them out in the wild and take pictures and post it up. And it's just, it's fun. It's just plain fun. And that's what this heritage line is. There's so much frivolity and fun to it. If you're looking for screen accurate, pieces that stitch by stitch are perfect to the movie. Not so much, but if you, if you want something that really helps that, that inner invisible bond moment, you know, and that, that wonderful homage that all of our Brown did when they start to create these pieces and make decisions. And I would imagine hard decisions about what will we make? What will we create? The only thing I'm going to hope, and this is a, this is a call out to the people at all of our Brown is don't stop. Don't stop. There's other things out there still to do and to make. Don't stop until we tell you to stop and we're never going to tell you to stop. So there we go. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped with sizing and choices and fabric and feel. A lot of people say, why do you do all that? It's like, you know, well, we do all that <laughs> because we want you to understand what these things are and feel like and fit before you get them in your mailbox, right? Because they're an investment and you want to make good choices. And your choice to watch this today, I want to thank you. So this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We will see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.